All right, welcome back to the channel, guys. It is your boy, Kaz. And as you can see, I don't know what is going on right now. Welcome back to the fourth episode of Craft Night. Thank you guys so much, first off, for all of the support on the series. It's gone absolutely insane, like better than I could have ever expected. So thank you for that. I love you guys. If you're not yet subbed, we're on the road to 100K and we're super close. So go ahead and hit that sub button. I'm assuming a lot of you guys are not yet subscribed because this is a second channel. But so uh, we got this guy in here. I don't know what he is doing. And he has an owner. I think the owner is like right here, but he's invisible. So I don't know how they got into my house. I don't know what is going on right now. Like I said, if you guys are new to the series, watch it from the beginning, but I am a Minecraft noob still, so I don't know what's going on right now. Like, I literally am so confused as to how they got up here or how he is in my house or how he's literally invisible somewhere in here. Where is he? He's like, he's literally like right here, dude. I don't know. He's somewhere here. But anyway, we're just going to ignore him. As you can see, we're starting the episode with something very fun. I am pulling out these ores because if you didn't remember, I do have a silk touch pickaxe right now. So I got some diamonds. And as you can see, not just some, I have 21. So the first order of business in this episode is to do the most satisfying thing we possibly can and that is just mine diamonds like literally who wouldn't have fun doing that we're gonna go like this and then we're gonna go bam we got 21 down and as you can see we have a fortune three pickaxe and 21 diamonds let's see how many we actually end up getting from here and here we go we're getting some stacks of two i'm seeing a lot of stacks of one so i oh god okay i hope this goes well here we go here we go here we go we're still getting some so we put 21 down and we ended with 44. So just over double. And that is a big W for me. 44 more diamonds to start out the episode. That's absolutely insane, man. This fortune pickaxe is doing wonders for me. And I don't even like need redstone or coal or anything like this, but I kind of just have to mine it because I already have it here. So why not? But uh, let's go put all this away and we'll get started on today's missions. For those of you guys who don't know, there's seven of us in the Craft Night server. We're all Fortnite YouTubers, hence the title of the whole server. But uh, there's nobody in here right now. It's literally just me. And I did get a new skin as well. Hold on. Let me show you guys. I need a better skin. If any of you guys know how to make Minecraft skins, then make me one, please. I would actually love it. But for now, I have this random skin that I found on like one of these websites. And as you can see on the back of it, there's a very, there's a very poorly done phase logo, but it is a phase logo. So I figured I had to do it. Let's just throw on our armor real quick. And uh, yeah, we are almost ready to go. We have a full stack of 64 diamonds now. Let's go. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take both of my diamond pickaxes out and try mining with two diamond pickaxes just to see how it works. Being honest, I don't really know which one I should be carrying when I I go mining so i always just carry my silk touch one but this time around i'm gonna bring out my efficiency or fortune one as well just to see if i can get more stuff so we're gonna drop down we are gonna go ahead we'll take our sugar cane first actually and then we'll go out and while we're doing this real quick just to give you guys a little bit of timeline i'm recording this one before my third episode even goes up so i haven't read the comments on there i'm always reading the comments though like i mentioned already in this episode and i mentioned it every episode i am a minecraft noob so if you guys have any sort of suggestions or anything that could help me out then feel free to comment it down below i read like all the comments on the series but today we're gonna go ahead and start doing some real work here so we're gonna go down into our mine shaft i'm gonna make this look a lot better but this goes all the way to negative 12 again i'm not pulling out my coordinates because i'm not trying to expose myself but uh literally somebody in the last episode found it if you haven't watched it go watch it but for now we'll strip mine a little bit we'll try to find some more diamonds with our silk touch axe and then we will go from there yes we found diamonds let's go it was right at the start of this cave too okay let's make sure we don't burn any of them like we did last time so we're gonna dig under it and make sure there's no lava we should be chilling all right so I'll touch these right now we got four of them perfect i could just mine them right now because i have that fortune pickaxe with me but uh, i kind of want to wait till i get home honestly it's a little more fun and hopefully we can find more diamonds here it looks like this is a spot where diamonds might be so Ooh, some more diamonds let's go this is what is this six or five that was like a six stack or something crazy like that i don't even know but that was insane no matter how many times you get diamonds in minecraft they always are just the best feeling when you find them dude i swear i'm going 10 more one two three four five we're going five more and then we're gonna get out of this cave five more to find diamonds and at five more we found another cave it's like they're just telling me and <gasps> and there's dude i can't can't even make this up there's literally diamonds right there that is actually insane i would have never thought dude i have been doing this thing for so long and we actually wow okay one two three and four let's go 14 diamonds baby all right well we did that and now it is time to get home we got a lot of stuff we need to do in this episode all right, we are back and it is time 14 diamonds let's see how many we end up actually getting out of here Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. We got 39 out of a stack. 
Oh, I can't even make this up, dude. This is so good. I love this pickaxe, man. The silk touch in combination with this fortune three is absolutely amazing, dude. Holy, this guy is still at my house. What? Uh, you're not paying rent. Get out of here. You're really not paying rent. And this freaking alpaca looking dude is still here too. Anyway, they're not harming me, so it's fine. We almost have two stacks of 64 diamond already. FaZe Kaz the type of dude to make a diamond ax and enchant it before his diamond sword. That is exactly what we're doing. I don't know if that's a bad idea, but that is exactly what we're doing right now. And we are going to enchant a diamond axe. All I want is efficiency. Oh, perfect. We can get efficiency. There we go. Efficiency, fortune, and unbreaking. Beautiful. As you can see, I have not updated the video in a minute, but I am doing some crazy stuff right now. And yes, I'm going to accent it with other colors. It's not going to look all wood like trust. I'm going to change it. But for now, I need a lot of wood for my project. I think it is time for another enchantment. We're going to make a diamond shovel this time around. Grab some lapis and we're going to see what enchantment they give me here. Let's see. Let's see. Efficiency. Ooh, that's good. Please come with unbreaking. Please come with unbreaking. It's just efficiency. Okay. And let's see how fast this thing is. Oh my God. Okay. Maybe efficiency is really good because holy look at this oh my goodness it's like I, I don't, i've never seen anything break this fast i should have been using this the entire time it is time to add water and make our world look cool for once for the first time ever i think actually <sighs> we're back it's been six hours it's literally been six hours and look at <laughs> look at what we've done this looks ridiculous so this is probably close to where we were at last time i'm sorry i always forget to record and i just end the video and then i come back and it's just like way later but as you can see there is a lot that we have done and it still looks super boring don't get me wrong like this is nowhere close to done but it's a lot better so we got this nice little spot here and obviously i've already shown you guys this kind of it's our little mine shaft and then we also got this right here which is kind of just a way up i don't know i don't know if there's a better way to get up than just like a ladder off the side here it kind of looks cool though so i like it and then up here we got a nice little design everything in the house is pretty much the same i've just been working on the exterior a little bit oh yeah also over here if you come this way we got this crazy looking thing right here it's like a little doorway and the reason i picked up the recording is because we are going to the nether for the first time in this episode about like in five minutes i don't know i gotta do one thing first oh my god the this looks absolutely awful what am i doing i suck dude <laughs> somebody help me build stuff like this like I, I oh my god i had an idea i started recording i was hyped and this is just terrible like it's actually kind of embarrassing like i don't even want to put this part in the video anyway like i said we have something more important to do we are about to go to the freaking nether exciting stuff i don't know what the nether is i know there's a huge update to it in like 1.6 that's what i've heard at least so i have no clue i don't know if there's anything specific i need in the nether i heard you can sleep in the nether or something i don't really know but uh we're gonna to go ahead and build one and by one i mean another portal obviously so let's go ahead and grab all of our obsidian and then i need a flint and steel i think is what it's called but yeah i've been working on this for a minute so i hope it looks good to you guys i don't know i gotta do a lot with it still obviously we got our enchantment table as always right here and uh we got our little nether portal room so you walk in here i'm probably gonna put some chests so i can store stuff before but we're gonna go ahead and try to build a nether portal first try right now so i think we go like this and then we can actually save some blocks if we do this yep 200 i i this should be right. Okay, hopefully this is right. I think we go up three, and then we could just do one, two, one, and bam. And then it worked baby let's go so we got this cool little room here i wish it was bigger i probably should have made this room bigger but you know what it doesn't look bad we're bringing a stack of dirt just in case we're putting some stuff away and we got four little what is this polished diorite so we're gonna put this in the corners so our nether portal looks kind of cool we'll go like that that bam and bam and look at that it looks pretty good in my opinion look at that detail right there looks so good wow i am a freaking builder anyway ladies and gentlemen we are going in to the freaking nether right now and wish me luck because i don't know what to expect if i get attacked by something i'm literally gonna run straight out we'll see here goes nothing we're loading the terrain oh my this is not what i remember the nether looking like at all oh my god what is all of this stuff this looks insane there's so much lava here though it seems like i'm gonna die just like by falling into it luckily i have a water bucket i gotta remember that let's <gasps> what is there no water can you not use water in the nether we're gonna try again because i'm scared if i don't have water in there we are back okay here we go we're gonna start our journey in the nether and what i really want is that glowstone right there i don't know if there's like dragons or like things that shoot you oh my god this place looks crazy i don't know if there's stuff that actually like shoots like lava blocks at you or anything but we're just gonna go like this and if i die i'm gonna be so mad oh my god okay we gotta really take this seriously real quick okay we made it across anyway we gotta go down here and get this glowstone and i know that like right under this thing is like literally nothing so i need to make sure i don't fall because this is so freaking sketchy dude all right fortune give me a lot two 
six. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're getting some. This is by far the scariest thing I've done so far in Minecraft, I think. Oh my god, this is so scary, dude. How is this not like how do people just go into the nether so easily? Like, this is terrifying. I think I really should have just gotten my silk touch pickaxe and just grabbed the blocks. I don't know what gives you more, but uh oh there he is. Please stop, please stop, please stop. I hit it back. I hit it back. Oh my god, why is he shooting so many? Dude! Oh my god! No, 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 We're getting out of here. We're getting out of here. I'm never coming back here. I'm never coming back here again in my life. Just get me out. Get me out. Get me out. Oh my god. That was the scariest thing I have ever dealt with. I almost just cried. Like I actually did. That was genuinely probably one of the scariest things. How do I build a freaking thing now? Oh, there we go. It only takes four. We got 21 glowstone right now. And it's time to deck out our house in it since we finally got it and I worked so hard for it. The first place I want to place one of these is right about here. Yes. Wait, that doesn't look that good. Silk touch pickaxe, I need you right now. Ah, uh, is that it? Is that it right there? I think that is it. I think that's it right there, dude. It's like a little lamp post. This is what all the cool YouTubers do, so I feel like this has to happen. Here we go. Look at that. That looks so good. Oh, I think this would look good right there. Oh, yeah. That looks good right there, I think. We'll take it a step back, and yup. Why do I kind of like how this looks like this? Wait, hold on. We put one of those there, and then maybe we cover these. Hmm. How does this look? How does this look? I don't know if I like the cover. I think I might do these uncovered like this. Yeah, I think I'm going to replace every single one of these. Because this looked off-putting. There was something about it that I didn't like with this whole, like, birch wood thing. So I think I'm doing birch wood, and then on every single one, I'm going to replace the top, the little slab, with one of these. A nice little glowstone block like this. So, yup, that is it, dude. That is it. The top of our house ain't it, though. I gotta fix that. That doesn't look good anymore. I don't like that. It's not cutting it. The whole bottom part of our house looks so good. We got the farm over there. We got the nice little cave entrance, the enchantment table, the nether portal that I'm never gonna use because the nether sucks. And then you just look up there and it's just so boring because that was the first thing I built, obviously. Oh, yeah. Also, I don't know if you guys can see, but there's spider webs there now. I think they're called strings. I put them up there because my comment section's always coming in clutch, man. They told me that I could put strings on there and it wouldn't show the snow. And I literally need need my comment section i just uploaded my new video and somebody commented that so if you're watching this shout out to you you know who you are thank you for the recommendation to do that because now i can actually not see the snow at the top of my house and it looks good maybe here in this corner i even put one of these Ooh, okay we're going crazy with this this looks a lot better it looks so cool it's like we're in a mini cave i need to put a window right there right where my crosshair is in the middle of the screen i need to put a window right there right now does that go right into the storage room actually hold on that might be perfect yeah it goes right into the storage room oh nice okay this might be good that should be good right there we just go bam 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 but if we put these here and then we just maybe finish it off with one more little trap door I need to put one of these oh yes that's literally perfect so then we just got this we'll jump up here and look at that dude let's let's go back real quick hold up hold up hold up get some dirt and go up a little bit and look at that we got a nice freaking little window in the side of the mountain now what do you guys think i think it looks really good look at me look at that in the background it looks beautiful in my opinion i'm pretty proud of myself for that so yeah this is some good progress on the house right now not even lying to you guys i don't know i really don't like th this looks so ugly actually i don't like this part at all this little transparent floor there but uh we'll work on that later got a lot of sugar cane that's ready to go looks pretty good in my opinion i really like the way this window came out actually and since this episode is kind of just dedicated to like doing our house right now there's a lot of wood and like i said i don't want all of this being wood so i'm gonna go ahead and try to work on that right now we're gonna use a little bit of polished diorite in certain parts and just see how it makes it look like i definitely don't want this everywhere in my world but i think like somewhere here it looks really good and it makes it work maybe this will be the one spot i use the diorite it'll just be the whole walkway up to the cave i think that'll look good we're gonna do like a three layer burrito so we gotta get the diorite to here and then we're gonna do this for one layer only and then yeah i kind of like you know what I think I like that. Actually, you know what? We're gonna go around the edge and we're gonna make it that little stone like this. There we go. That looks good, right? I think this looks pretty freaking good. Oh, and look who it is. It is Plue. I think this is like his first time on the server, actually. What the heck? Our next project is gonna be building lanterns because any house on the side of a mountain needs a lot of lanterns dangling off of it. It just seems right, so I gotta do that. Oh my god, and we can even put some like here. This just looks so cool. Oh my god, it looks so good. I'll throw one like there and here. Throw another one here. Throw a couple under there. Oh my god. God, and some definitely need to go under here oh my goodness like right yep and then we'll just throw like randomly just kind of like scatter them out a little bit ow 
like right there. We are stripping this tree down, man. I feel like another thing this house is definitely missing is some branches and leaves. We're just literally throwing some randomly like this. And we're just gonna see how it turns out. Like, how does this look? I feel like literally just throwing them kind of like this, just like randomly will make it look better. Hold on, let's see. Yeah, it just makes it look so good. I don't want to overdo it, obviously, but like just like that just makes it accent so much better. Maybe even just throw one like here. Do one here as well. I think our last touch right here will just be like just literally adding it all over this part. Yep, there we go. Anyway, I think that's enough for the leaves. We've done quite a bit here. This looks so elegant, man. This did not look like my home from last episode. Be honest with me. It really didn't. I'm proud of myself. I am very, very proud of this progression. Like, look at how much better this house looks. Maybe it's something crazy. Hold on. Let's do something crazy real quick. Shaders are on. This looks like a hot Cheeto, bro. Why does my house look so orange? I mean, if we ignore the fact that the glowstone is super bright and it's making my house look orange, then hey, it looks pretty good, right? Like, this looks beautiful. Look at that window right there. Yeah, you know what? Shaders make my house look absolutely insane. I'm not gonna lie. Like, this looks incredible. Your boy is just proud of himself for today's progress. Like, we really did a lot today. And I better have done a lot because I literally played Minecraft for like probably seven or eight hours today. So, I mean, I if I didn't do a lot, then I would have been mad. I swear I had more than 64 diamonds. I swear I had more than 64. Oh, okay. 46 in here. I was gonna say, there's no way I only had 64. I almost have two full stacks of diamond as well. I forgot to even mention that. It was earlier today. I started this episode and we mined a bunch of diamond. I think it was around 46, actually. I don't think we went mining since then. God, these shaders look so good. Look at how nice the water looks. Oh my goodness. If only I could always play on that, but nah, we won't do that. That's way too crazy. Anyway, let's take one last step outside before we end this little progression video off and uh, just indulge in the view because look at how good that looks, man. I won't take off the shader pack for the rest of this video just so this is the last memory you guys have of it. If you guys are going to remember anything from this video, remember my house looking this beautiful because this looks absolutely amazing and we got a lot of work to do still. We got this whole area here and you know what? Actually comment down below what I should build behind me here. I want to know what you guys want me to build. It could be like a room where I can actually make like a shop or something or it could be like a room where I just put storage. It could be, I don't even know, dude. I really don't know. I need ideas. I still need to make a wheat farm so obviously I can do that but I don't think I want to do that right here. I don't know. Like I said, comment down below and let me know. But other than that, it's been your boy Kaz. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Let's take one last. Oh my god, that looks so good. Hope you guys enjoyed. It's been your boy Kaz. I will catch y'all in the next episode. Peace.